Okay, here we got a little thermostat here again. And this is about what I guess you'd say servicemen love to hate about their customers. The ones that think this thing is something they should play with all the time. My thermostat in my home, except when I'm doing a video or something that involves it, is set at the same temperature and has been set at that same temperature for about five years. Both heating and cooling, they've been set and forgotten. That's because the thermostat works better if you leave it alone. Now, I probably won't gain a whole bunch of friends from the customers with this one, but uh, if you come in from outside, and let's say it's cold outside, so you come in and it's cold, and you go to the thermostat and say, it's cold in here, I'm gonna raise that temperature. Or you come in from, it's hot outside, and you say, uh, it's hot in here, I'm going to lower that temperature. And I mean, you can do what you want, you know, it's your stuff. But, what you're probably going to do in the case of heat is put it too hot and then say, oh crap, it's too hot in here, and turn it back down again. Well, okay, I know you think that if I push this little button on this silly thing and it goes up and down, that I'm going to get a change in the temperature in the structure. And you will. But by the time the temperature changes in that structure, you've already acclimated to the temperature inside the house, so you've set it wrong. And then sometimes we get complaints, as well, it gets too hot and too cold. Quit screwing with the thermostat. It is a very simple device in its basic form. I've seen some of the old mechanicals that have been on homes walls for 60 years. Some longer than that. And they still work. These things don't last as long. but uh, It's a very simple device. It turns off and on. That's all it does. And if I turn it way up, real high, it doesn't heat the structure any faster, or cool the structure if I turn it down. It doesn't heat or cool it any faster, it just heats it to a higher temperature. So, you can put night setbacks in and all that sort of thing if you want. And that, there's nothing wrong with that. But, when you come in from outside and you think this thing is going to warm you up, or cool you down, faster if I change the temperature, you're incorrect. I'm going to demonstrate how that happens on a thermostat in my home. And I'll put a timer on it and we'll see how long it takes to change that temperature. Okay, here we have a uh, standard thermostat. It's at 71 degrees and it's set for 71. Outside temperature is about 56, so it's pretty mild. I'm going to raise this up five degrees and we'll figure out how long it's going to take to raise it up that five degrees. Okay, there we go. just started and we'll start the timer okay so far we're at 74 we're looking for 76 and we are 32 almost 33 minutes in okay uh, I was just a little bit late on this it was right at 45 minutes that it hit 76 uh, that even shocks me that it was that long. Uh, this is a 60,000 BTU furnace in a 1,400 square foot home. And of course the outdoor temperature is 56, so it's really mild. 
but it takes quite a while to warm these houses up and that's one of the things I'm telling you it, you can push that thermostat up as high as you want and it really isn't going to make that much difference because by the time it catches up you're already going to be warmed up from being inside the house or cooled off whichever so uh, you can do what you want you always do but it doesn't make sense to change that thermostat constantly throughout the day.